Hi everyone, welcome to my second video on my video series on large language model. In this video, I'm going to talk about text generation. This is a simple model uh, dedicated for people actually want to get started uh, working with the text generation models or decoder only model like Llama, uh, GPT is um, one of these models, Gemini is another one, Mistral, Falcon, they're all different models for decoder only transformers or uh, text generation based model. Um, so I, you always use open source model, and um, it's because one is free, two is that it allows you to actually, uh, allows more control over the model as well. Later on we can fine tune, and we can do lots of things with these open source models as well. So let's get into this um, um, <clears throat> today tutorial. Um, as I said, it's a simple uh, um, tutorial. Uh, we look at some of these uh, text generation models, how we can use it, how we can get a response from these models, and this is the foundation of RAG. In the last video, I talked about the embedding and similarity search, which is a retrieval part of the RAG. This is a text generation part of the RAG. And in the future videos, we put them together and develop the first version of the RAG. All right. So in the first line, I mean, upgrading transformers, you don't need to if uh, you're using Collab like me. But if you're using the uh, your local laptop, perhaps it's the best idea to upgrade the transformers library. The next, I'm gonna actually import the auto tokenizer and also auto model for causal LM language model. So if you are using protected repo like uh, Llama, you need to uh, create a um, first uh, account with the hugging face and then uh, ask for the permission to use the Llama model. Uh, I have already done that, but then at the same time, you need to log in to the hugging face through the notebook login. So here you create an access token, and once you create the access token, once you do this one, you enter your access token, and that's it. You're gonna connect it to the repo. This is only for protected repo like Lava. All right. So here I'm I'm using the couple of models for you to just get a sense. The first one is the Lama 3.2 1 billion parameters instructor tone. All right. So we have two sort of models: base model, instructor tone. Base model is the model that uh, initially train on the lots of lots of data in the internet, trillions of tokens. After you train this base model, so this is trained in predicting next one. So you train on the first, let's say, thousand token, then you predict next one, and then you move the window, right? Uh, then you get this base model and you further fine tune it on the question answering task, summarization task, topic modeling task. Uh, different tasks, and you call it instructor tone, means that ability to follow the instruction. That's why they have the instructor. So when you have a question and you want to get a response from the large language models, you look for the instructor. All right. So then we load the model uh, using this one. This is pretty a standard uh, framework. Uh, device map is that if you have multiple GPUs, you can use this one. By the way, I'm using Google Collab and I'm using the free uh, edition and I'm using the free GPU that is given to me, Tesla T4. So you can actually follow this one as it is. So we load the model here and also we load the tokenizer. All right, I have already done this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question. The question is who own YouTube? The answer of course is Google, right? So let's first run this one. And then we go through this. So YouTube is owned by Google, is multinational technology company, all right? Now let's go, so the answer is correct. Now let's go through this. In any um, question that uh, you have any form of, um, a query that you send to large language model, you usually want it to uh, structure your prompt or your message in such a way that you have one system message and one user message. System message gener um, creates the tone for the entire conversation. It creates a rule for the entire system, for the entire, uh, like a policy for the entire uh, conversation, right? For example, Let's say you want to ask a question about technology. You want to ask questions sometimes about the fashion, about the, I don't know, different brand of perfume, for example, right? So you put that in the system message. You say that you are a helpful AI assistant, expert in technology, fashion, and entertainment. And let's say you want to make sure that the answer is not more than 200 tokens, more than 100 tokens, right? You say that, please return your answer in 200 tokens. Of course, you can control this through the model. I get there as well. But you just want to say it to large language model to understand, not to keep writing. Right, okay, that's the system. Now the actual question is gonna come in the user role, the actual question, and it's who on YouTube, as simple as that, right? So then you're gonna put it in the chat compilation format, which is the same format that OpenAI follows. 
is just chat compilation means that you put in the system user and the response by uh, message by, by the model is in the form of a system. All right. Then this is the most important part, model.generate. Uh, you pass the model input. This is a tokenized text. Text means what? Text means the system plus the user message because they are both of them as a message that we send to the model, okay? And the max new token, this is the most important one. How many tokens do you want in the output, right? So 200, the longer is the larger is value, the more it takes to process that. 200, for example, and I hear also mentioned that please return it in 200 tokens or less. And temperature is uh, um, the most important parameter here, perhaps the temperature. Temperature um, is not creativity, it's about randomness. So the lower the temperature, the less randomness is in the generated response. So let's say you deploy this answer, this model for the uh, production, you really want the temperature to be as low as possible. You want to get a consistent answer. If you put a temperature as a high value, still the answer is correct. It's just the wording would be different every time you run it. So temperature is a number between zero and one. It's a floating point, point number between zero and one. The larger, the more randomness. So you usually want to put it a zero or a very small value, all right? And then here also, all right, so generate ID. So you see, uh, when you send this input to the large language model, uh, the system message plus the user message, right? You get a response back. You only want the response, the answer. You don't care about your input. So here, I set the output IDs that I get, the output IDs that you get here, um, which is the, in the zip of model, in, model inputs and generated IDs here. So I want to make sure that you give me only the response, the output, the what I want. Be, because I said len of input IDs all the way to the len of the end of uh, list. From zero to len of input IT is going to be my input exactly. I don't care about the input. Do not return the input. I only care about my output, right? And then the response. And you print the response, right? As simple as this. It's very, it's very simple. Now, uh, let's go with more advanced model. So the uh, more advanced model is Lama 3 um, billion parameters. Again, it's instructor tone. So this was 1 billion parameter. 3 billion parameter is supposed to be uh, harder. Is that supposed, sorry, it's supposed to be strong. So who on YouTube, I ask another question, which country won 2022 World Cup? We can ask the same kind of question. Who on YouTube? Okay, the same question. Simple enough question. And we expect the uh, correct answer, no matter which uh, version of the large language model actually uh, we are using. If the language model is trained correctly and uh, if actually it's converged with a good learning rate and then a good, um, let's say, initialization, uh, number of layers, if the training actually there was not really nothing wrong in the training, we are hoping that the answer is uh, the same answer is uh, Google. The reason why I'm asking this question and then later on I change the prompt to maybe which country won 2022 World Cup is to show you that what would be the impact of using a very weak model? Although it's gonna run faster in your uh, notebook. However, the problem here is that sometimes you may get a very wrong answer. Now look at this one. That's what I wanna show you. See how slow is that? This is Lama 3 billion parameter. It's significantly slower than Lama 1 billion parameter. And this is one of the things that I want to make sure that you guys follow is because now we have an answer is that the bigger the model, the slower is gonna be the response. So that's why I chose this 3 billion, 1 billion parameter. We can go ahead, later on we go with a maybe larger model and we quantize the model. But I wanna show, show you that if the speed is a matter of concern and the, the domain that you're working is not that complicated, maybe you want to go with a, a smaller model. All right, so let's see. YouTube is owned by Alpha, Alphabet, a multinational uh, uh, founded by Larry Page and Segurin in 1998. Is a primary company, several subsidies, including Google. So the answer is much uh, more, much more involved compared to the 1 billion uh, parameter. But still, I would consider both uh, models to be correct. And I personally believe that Google is uh, 
it was created in 19 in 98 not in 2004 so this one I, th I think there is a little bit inaccuracy in the answer you can search it yourself but i think google is, uh, was created in 1998 initially the alphabet right so both answer might be uh, correct because the the answer I was looking for was Google or Alphabet. This was much more involved. You see, three billion parameters. Now let's do one experiment. Let's go with a model which is much simpler than that. Let's see what would happen. What can go wrong? The model that I have here is the Cuban uh, 2.5, which is a state of the art. But 0.5 billion instruct means 500 million parameters. Right? This is a very weak model. Let's see what's going to happen. Of course, I loaded the model before. And then who own YouTube? Let's see how fast is this one. This would be fast. See how fast was that? It took two and two seconds. And let's say, look at the response. YouTube is owned by the following company, TikTok and then YouTube. This doesn't make any sense, right? TikTok doesn't own YouTube. Google owns YouTube or Alphabet, if you want. So the answer, it was fast. It was quite fast, but the answer was wrong. So this is the, what happens if you use a smaller models. So when you, for you, your application, you want to choose a balance. Later on, we actually talk about all this. Now, this is for this uh, text generation. I want to show you something actually here as well. If you go to the hugging face, where would I take this all this model? You see, you go to the hugging face. This is the hugging face uh, interface. And then you go to the, um, let me show you. If you go to the models, I go to the models. This page is, if you go to hugging face, you go to models. And then I go to the natural language processing section and I go to text generation. There you go. And uh, you can bring this. Once you get comfortable with this stuff, you know, all these models on top of your head. See, Cuban, Cuban is very strong. It's a state of the art. This was a, the ba most basic model they had. So Cuban has a 32 billion parameters. It has 72 billion parameter instruct. Perhaps that would be really strong. 7 billion parameter, I will make a video about this one as well. We can quantize it together. This is what I used. 500 million parameter. This is a very weak model. But at the same time, you got you see that the answer was wrong. All right, so that's it what I, I have for this video. Um, leave a comment if you have any question. I do well, my best to respond to your uh, questions. Um, this is a very important video. Allows you to actually start working with this uh, large language models for text generation. With the last video about the similarity search on embedding and this video about text generation, you have all the necessary tools to learn about the RAG, which we are going to talk about that in the future videos. Thank you so much and see you all in the next video.